Okay. This is my new, put those air quotes around it, singer. Um, I was informed that it is an 1869. And this is the outside of the case. So let's, let's take a look inside. The case is actually missing half a dozen screws. That seems to be what's mostly wrong with the case. Whoop. That and it always falls open. So, pardon the shaky video. All right, there's the machine itself. I do believe this one is seized up. Uh, oh, and this. So this is how I am receiving it. This is exactly the way it was when I got it. It's kind of scuffed up. But you know, if you were 151 years old, you'd be a little scuffed up too. But everything appears to be here. It will need a new tire, because the tire is, of course, very worn out. And this will need to be adjusted. <clears throat> its wheel moves a hair, but it does not turn, and we will not force it any further than that. I will clean it completely. But there's her medallion right there. And you know, I haven't spotted the serial number yet. I know it's got to be here somewhere. But everything, look at that. All the mother of pearl is still intact and present, which is lovely. And I can't open anything yet. I, I'm going to have to completely clean her out, but everything appears to be present. This is the back side. So yeah, she's got all her mother of pearl, looking lovely. She's got one little scuff here where the enamel has chipped away. A little bit here, but that's just normal wear and tear for 151 years. And, aha, uh -huh. on here. Ugh. Let's see if my hands work. They might not work. <laughs> Sometimes my hands don't work. I may have to use tools just because my fingers are kind of weak. But, let's see. There's the patent on there. So that's the patent case. It doesn't really tell me for sure how old she is but all the panels of the case are here she'll need a little bit of of cleaning obviously and she's absolutely scroungy and I'm gonna have to cry you know take her in I'm not going to fix this myself um, I know how but I'm going to contact my sewing machine man and have him go through her because I think that's just good practice to have somebody who knows what they're doing, really knows what they're doing, go through one of these antique machines. But let's let's do the last treasure part of this. I'm going to have to brace this floor, but in here we have a free service coupon from 1939 so that's pretty spiffy I'm, I'm pretty happy about that and there's a very old measuring tape there's bobbins Yes, ladies, this is what a bobbin used to look like. Isn't that wonderfully weird? Um, in the bottom of this, under the bobbins, is an envelope. I'm going to set those bobbins out. And uh, needles. Okay, they're rusty. I can't use them, but they're still awfully cool. 
And that makes me just giddy happy that I have, you know, some very old needles in here. Also in here. Oh, come on, sorry. Various and sundry other little bits and bobs. Another thumb screw. Another plate. For the foot. And lots of bits. Lots and lots of bits. In this cute teeny tiny pan. The pin is unmarked. There's no, you know, label or anything on that. This is marked New Royal. I'm assuming this is probably from another vintage machine. But I'll bet they all work with her. If you know what you're doing. There's lots of bits and bobs in here. very messy looking bit. They're awfully rusty, but I'm pretty sure all of this can be cleaned up because it's just rust. Oh, another tire. <laughs> Look, it's my replacement tire. I think that my spare is in nearly the same condition as the one that's on. So yeah, there's lots of, of things in here. Some of these things, I don't know. I'll have to go through and see what all we got. Clean it all up. I obviously will be replacing the box. She is missing her key. But I do have a source. Because I know this is not her key. That I know. I do know that. Um, I love these giant screws in here. I have no idea what these are doing in here because they are way too big. To be the ones that were, are missing from the lid. So that is her. This is my my lovely new family sewing machine, and she will need a lot of love and a lot of TLC. But with just a little care and the right guy working on it, she's going to run again. She's going to sew again. She's going to become my favorite machine, I'm pretty sure. Just a glorious thing to have. And that's it.